Step into the gritty and suspenseful world of Pick Up on South Street, a 1953 film that stands as a timeless testament to the prowess of the film industry. This cinematic gem, directed by Samuel Fuller, skillfully weaves a tale of espionage and intrigue against the backdrop of post-war America. As you delve into the narrative, one can't help but be drawn into the masterful storytelling and nuanced performances that elevate this classic to enduring heights. What is it about this film that resonates with audiences across generations? Is it the razor-sharp dialogue, the impeccable pacing, or perhaps the unforgettable characters? As you reflect on your own cinematic journey, consider sharing a personal story of how Pick Up on South Street has left an indelible mark on your life. Has it inspired you, sparked a newfound appreciation for the noir genre, or offered a unique perspective on the complexities of human nature? This film, with its gripping narrative and timeless appeal, raises the question, what enduring qualities make it a symbol of the industry? Is it the seamless blend of suspense and social commentary, or the way it captures the essence of a bygone era? As you contemplate these questions, consider the impact of Pick Up on South Street on the cinematic landscape and its lasting influence on subsequent generations of filmmakers. Before we delve into some intriguing facts about the film, we'd love to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Pick Up on South Street? Share your stories and reflections in the comments below, and let's celebrate the enduring power of this cinematic masterpiece. Now, let's uncover some fascinating tidbits about Pick Up on South Street that add layers to its cinematic brilliance. Did you know that the film's screenplay underwent several revisions, each contributing to the finely tuned narrative we see today? Stay tuned for more insights into the making of this classic. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Pick Up on South Street? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Pick Up on South Street, recognized in 2018 by the Library of Congress, stands as a culturally and historically significant film. The opening subway scene subtly ties director Samuel Fuller's personal history with the 1st Infantry Division during World War II. The soldier sporting the Big Red One patch foreshadows Fuller's later film, The Big Red One. Notably, the lead role of Candy underwent casting turmoil. Initially set for Shelley Winters, her pregnancy led to Betty Grable's reluctant refusal and subsequent suspension. After considering Ann Baxter and Linda Darnell, the role found its perfect fit in Jean Peters, noticed by Fuller for her distinctive walk in the studio commissary. These intricate behind-the-scenes details add layers to the film's narrative, enriching its context and impact on American cinema. A blend of historical homage and unforeseen casting twists, Pick Up on South Street remains a testament to Fuller's vision and filmmaking prowess etched in cinematic history. After a preview screening, FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover raised objections to the film Pick Up on South Street for its perceived unpatriotic depiction of Skip, even when confronting communists. This led to a significant standoff between Hoover and studio boss Daryl F. Zanuck, along with director writer Samuel Fuller. Zanuck stood firm, refusing to alter the film despite Hoover's concerns. This decision severed the studio's close ties with the FBI, prompting the removal of all references to the agency from the film's promotional materials. The incident marked a pivotal moment, showcasing the film's uncompromising stance and its impact on the studio's relationship with a powerful government agency. The fallout didn't end there. The studio had to reshoot a scene featuring Candy and Joey frisking each other for the loot due to objections from the production code office. Their physical interaction was deemed too risk, reflecting the tension between creative freedom and censorship during that era. These behind-the-scenes struggles shed light on the film's bold and controversial narrative choices. Pick Up on South Street not only secured its place among the 1001 movies you must see before you die, according to Steven Schneider's curated list, but it also became a symbol of artistic integrity in the face of external pressures. The film's resistance to conformity, be it in its portrayal of patriotism or its confrontation with censorship, underscores its significance in the landscape of American cinema. The uncompromising stance taken by Zanuck and Fuller in the face of government objection became a defining moment for the film and its enduring legacy. In exploring the clash between creative expression and external influences, Pick Up on South Street emerges as a cinematic gem that transcends its time, leaving an indelible mark on the history of film. Betty Grable's refusal to take on the role of Candy in the 1953 film had far-reaching consequences, marking a crucial juncture in the production of Pick Up on South Street. 
initially cast after Shelley Winter's departure. Grable's reluctance to portray a prostitute led to her suspension by 20th Century Fox. The behind-the-scenes turmoil, exacerbated by conflicting accounts of her reasons, sheds light on the challenges faced by the filmmakers. The fallout from Grable's refusal, combined with the subsequent casting of Jean Peters, speaks to the intricate web of decisions that shaped the film. Moreover, the German title Polizei Grafdein and the altered dialogue in the German version, shifting the focus from espionage to drug dealing, highlight the international adaptations and reinterpretations of Pickup on South Street. These aspects, ranging from casting conflicts to cross-cultural nuances, contribute to the film's complexity and its enduring place in cinematic history. Part of the esteemed Criterion Collection, Pick Up on South Street stands out for its cinematic prowess and controversial narrative choices. Delving into the gritty world of espionage and crime, the film faced significant hurdles during its production. The screenplay, a gritty portrayal of crime and espionage, initially faced rejection from the production code office for its excessive brutality and sadistic beatings involving both male and female characters. This rejection sheds light on the film's unflinching approach to depicting the harsh realities it explores. The filmmaker's persistence in navigating these challenges reflects the commitment to an unvarnished storytelling style. Notably, the inclusion of Willis Bouchy and John Gallaudet both judges on the Perry Mason TV show adds a layer of intrigue to the film. Their roles in Pick Up on South Street underscore the interconnected nature of the entertainment industry during that era, contributing to the film's broader cultural context. As part of the Criterion Collection, designated as Spine 224, Pick Up on South Street has earned its place among cinematic gems. The collection's recognition signifies the enduring impact and artistic significance of the film inviting audiences to explore its nuanced narrative and cinematic brilliance. In navigating the challenges of censorship and maintaining a steadfast commitment to its raw storytelling, Pick Up on South Street cements itself as a timeless piece of cinematic history. The film's journey from rejected screenplay to Criterion Collection inclusion speaks to its resilience and enduring relevance. In summary, Pick Up on South Street, part of the Criterion Collection, and marked by rejected screenplays and notable cast connections, stands as a testament to uncompromising storytelling in the face of industry challenges. As we bid adieu to the cinematic journey that is Pick Up on South Street, let the echoes of its narrative resonate within the chambers of your thoughts. Unravel the layers of this timeless masterpiece, a tapestry woven with intrigue, suspense, and the quintessential dance of light and shadow that only the silver screen can provide. As the credits roll and the curtains draw to a close, take a moment to delve into the recesses of your own experiences. Did the film's gripping narrative unearth memories of your own clandestine encounters or perhaps awaken a dormant fascination for the enigmatic allure of the streets? This cinematic gem like a well-aged wine has matured with time, leaving us with a vintage flavor that lingers on the palate of our cultural consciousness. Reflect on the characters, their choices, and the intersections of fate that mirror the intersections of our own lives. Now, dear friend, the stage is yours. Share your musings, your revelations, and the nuances of pickup on South Street that have left an indelible mark on your cinematic soul. Let the discussion flourish as each perspective enriches the collective tapestry of appreciation for this celluloid symphony. In the grand theater of life, we are but spectators, moved by the narratives that unfold before us. Your reflections add another layer to the narrative, a dynamic dialogue that transcends time and space. Thank you for joining this exploration, for lending your thoughts to the timeless discourse sparked by Pickup on South Street. Your unique perspective enriches the legacy of this cinematic masterpiece. Until our narratives intertwine again, happy reflections, and may your cinematic adventures be ever captivating.